thought I'd give you guys a tour of the Doe's barn. Let me uh, prop this door open just real quick. She's gonna walk that. Nope. She did all right. Got a few things up here just for cleaning and stuff. And of course, it's always nice to have a hammer handy. Temperature, and then we don't have light out here. Whoops, sorry. So I got a just emergency battery powered light, is all that is. go too fast and make you get dizzy. Uh, side door here. Watch out, sugar. And then, um, <laughs> you stinker. And then the side porch. Sometimes they sleep out there. And it's nice. I'm not having a big barn. I have a little more extra room. Let me take that off there for you. Keep that stool out here. <clears throat> I have a shorter dough and my older dough. It's kind of nice set down on her. Let's take a look what we got here. Uh, that there deal I keep my raisins in because we feed them to the doughs when they're up here and the rest is just a brush I keep the wipies in here and fan of course that's just decoration um, strip cup and uh, we used to use the tie there for them uh, and I put the head catch on I guess I'll show you how that works I just flip that up and then latch it down. Works pretty handy. So, and I got oh, just different supplies in there of trimming. It's usually in that container, but I got some pro, a bag of probiotics in there. And then my uh, my my older girl, I have to tape teats because she Hosanna <laughs> still likes to nurse. So a trash can, and then uh, the remaining of the bag of pine chips. So, and I have a scale, have a cover to keep it clean. I don't use that. I'll show you the one I do use. It's out here. Here, let's see, I'll show you. Don't go too fast. I don't know if you can see that out there or not. Waveline, that's our Guernsey milk cow. Showing our pile of wood we need to cut up still. So it looks a little bit trashy, but that's Aveline. And then Alvaretta, her little heifer. Okay, let's go back. That's the uh, steps. Those two boards there, I put that around birthing suite if it gets real bitter. Try to kid out in March when the weather's just a little bit uh, more mild. I'll show you this. This is a drop down desk. And what we'll find in here is, I guess it don't look too messed up. Uh, that's the scale I use. And I keep my papers in there and glasses because I am terrible far-sighted. Um, a couple of uh, jars there because I've been been out here and I didn't bring enough buckets and or want to separate the milk. Then I ha have uh, something to do that in pins and and a clock that has to be wound up. You can got a little ways to the house, old Dally. 
sitting out there, but you can kind of see how far we got to go to the house. So I just kept a couple jars out here. So I'll leave that down. I'll put that up later. Got a lot of good light in here. That's messing up the video. I'm sorry about that. But uh, here's a cozy kitty corner. And we got pine chips in there. We got an old tomcat that likes sleeping out here with the girls. So here's uh, one of the birthing suites. We uh, keep this one closed usually because of the heat lamp in there. Just don't uh, want them fooling around with that and everything. Uh, this is one of the Premier One heat lamps, and I really like those. Just a safe alternative for getting heat here. I have a guard around it just to keep the doughs from nudging it or, uh, you know, fooling around. That, uh, there we go. That painting was done by my daughter. Uh, she help me in decorating the barn and stuff. Just kind of make it fun. Uh, be out here all the, spending all the time you do out here is kind of nice to gussy it up a little bit, make it enjoyable. Uh, far one's for hay, and that one's kind of dirty. That might be for feed. And then we have another one for water. And I would, one day, I don't know if I'll do it this fall, would like to put insulation all the way around the barn. Um, I just don't know if I'll get that done. NG is for narrow gate. And there's an old lantern. And this is another one she, my daughter did. She gave me that for Christmas. Here's the other birthing suite. This one we usually leave open. Uh, just so that they have a, more room in here and all. And uh, feed in here. I uh, run extension cords. That's the way I got light, uh, you know, electricity out here. You can see my cords hanging up there, uh, up out of the way, so anybody, nobody can get to them. You can't really see, but I do. I have them tacked up along the the top up there just to keep it out of the way and keep it safe. I got one going down there to the heat lamp and another one runs clean over. Oh, I don't think you guys can see it, but there's another one that runs down here to the that kitty corner. So that's how I got light. And we've brought a heater out here too because we've gotten cold waiting on kids to come. And let's see, there's a light, which is nice to have. Extra light source, more raisins. And a uh, white box there that's got my um, tattoo uh, pliers and stuff in. The uh, bottom one is for dehorning and de-ice for the bags, feed bags. That's just kind of nice to have when you need something put under your dough when she's kidding. Uh, supplies, things in there I can just leave out here. I don't have to worry about freezing or getting too hot. Bottom one, you can see that heat pad in there. There's our um, this budding box, towels, and extension cord. I see I left a baggie out. There's that. Here's the um, mineral feeders. I don't know if you can see. I got two that have the goat mineral in them. And that one's got the kelp. Just Keep those out and they can get them when they want. Let's see, 
show you who's in here. There's Hosanna. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, that's uh, Timberly. And honey, that is not for you to be on. Get down. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that, you guys. But, uh, I, I tuck those cords in there so nobody gets hung. And I will tell you, too, I talk about that. And that's got a little hook on it. Well, I keep that tucked in there, too. It usually hangs down. That's just to keep, nobody gets hooked on it in their collars and stuff. And that's about it, I guess. Go back out here and put this up. And go back and <laughs> she's worried she's gonna be left behind. But there, there you go. That's that's a doe's barn.